Hey everybody, it's Austin Ward for Letterman Row. Back with another Buckeye Q. We've got the former Ohio State linebacker Zach Bourne, and it's our weekly breakdown of the Silver Bullets. Took a trick play to get him last week, there, Zach. Man, I, I know it was right, you know right, right before the half, and coach they went to Coach Meyer, right? And Coach Meyer was like, I at halftime, I don't know, it, I, you obviously didn't see it, but on Fox they were talking about Coach Meyer loves, you know, they're coming out and you know still still trying and trying to score points, and you know they should have some momentum. In my mind, when a team starts doing trick plays, it means one thing. They can't do anything against you. Give it they, up. they know. They know this is the only way we can score. We can't run our normal offense, and that's exactly what we saw on Saturday. All right, Zach. A big part of that success through the first three games, and really a guy who's playing maybe more than people anticipated. We talked about Pete Warner in the off season that he yep. could still be an important cog for this team, and that's turned out to be the case. He's playing. Some in that bullet role, it seems like, and more than Brendan White. And a lot of people have been surprised by that. He's been playing great. The whole defense has been playing great, right? It, the people that wanted to point fingers at some of the guys last year, like Tuff Borland, like Malik Harrison, like Pete Warner, mm. they've all been playing tremendously, right? We've seen what the new defensive staff ha has brought to them. It, it seems like they're completely different players this year from playing with confidence to running around the football. And... In, in my honest opinion, making plays, right? That was the biggest thing last year. We saw so many times that once this defense, or once an offense started to, to go down the field against this defense, no one really stood up and made a play. Mm. This year, it's kind of like, hey, throw as many punches as you want at us. <laughs> at some point, we're going to make a play, and you're not going to score against yeah. us. Pete Warner doing a lot of that through three games, a handful of tackles for loss, dropping into coverage, playing free safety looking like at times, or strong safety. Doing a lot of good things for the Buckeyes. Let's have Zach break it down right now. Let's roll the tape. All right, Zach, we'll start with the opener here with Pete Warner flying in to make a play. And we've actually already talked about this one already. And we I, have. I just wanted to team you. You're just trying to get me fired up. I wanted up. to get you worked up so that trying we could start, to get me fired up you know, start the clip with something. But, you know, we, t we were talking about just the way that 11 guys floated the ball. Let's focus on 20 here alone. What does he read? What makes this uh, an example of why he's playing so well? I mean, you can see here, this this is a, a man coverage type thing, right? The guy goes in motion, comes back in motion into the backfield. Pete Warner knows. I got him. Look, he's really good with his eyes. He knows he's got to stay right on his hip. This is offensive pass interference, first <laughs> off, right? It was called 20 times in NFL games on Sunday. <laughs> this The guy comes here and is legitimately trying to block him. Pete Warner is able to work underneath, work through the offensive P.I. call, and still running the football, you see Jeffrey Kuda come up, make a play right, throw his body down in there, and Pete Warner's finishing. And then look at all the other red jerseys, man. The silver bullets running the football. But here, this is safety 100% <laughs> of the time. This ref right here, you missed offensive PI and a safety call <laughs> on the same play. He's not working. He's not earning his money over there. All right, I got Zach worked up on this play again. Let's move on to what he did against Indiana. I had my fun. Uh, this one here, uh, maybe not the greatest execution in the world from Indiana, but it's still a play that could have easily got them the first down, Listen, if not for Pete Warner. I, I, I love this play. I'm sitting here watching this game. It's 7-3, right? Beginning of the second quarter. Hey, people were expecting the game to be 28 nothing at this point, right? This is a big play in the ball game. Pete Warner never did this last year, right? So many times last year, these guys would have been flying with the jet motion. How many times did we see this exact play? Imagine the running back getting the ball against Maryland. They <laughs> broke it like three times, right? Jet motion coming right back to it with polars, and everyone's flowing that way Pete Warner right here look at this is able to read and react and see this play he's got two blockers coming in here he's got edge he knows he's got to keep contained right he flies through them goes low and is able to still make this tackle right here while everyone else is running to the football and trying to get there and it's a huge third down stop I'm trying to think back to some of the conversations we had last year about the linebackers Zach and I remember you were critical at times of the way the linebackers took on blocks or yep. avoided blocks what do you see here? This is, I mean, this is great, right? He knows he has to keep contained. There is no one else over here on the outside. Pete Warner knows he's got to go take on this guy's outside leverage and push everything back inside because that's where all of his help is from. So many times last year, Pete Warner may have jumped to the outside knowing I got contained, not taking this guy on, and that guy would have creased it right there, and there is literally no one right here. If Pete Warner is a yard or two outside here, these pulling guards are inside. It's keeping everything in, and the quarterback's creasing it for for probably a touchdown, right? This, last year we were seeing a 70-yard touchdown right here. <laughs> but now Pete Warner's taking on contact. Not It's not so much hat and hands, but listen, he's taking them out. He's knowing that, hey, I'm trying to keep as less the least amount of space in between here, knowing that my guys are coming from the inside out and I'm still keeping outside contained. Of all the plays that we've seen Pete Warner make at Ohio State, 
everyone says, oh, this is, you know, it's a good play. This may be the best play I've ever seen him make. Wow. And I said that when I was watching the game, just because of how far he's come. He's reading, he's reacting, he's taking on the blockers two yards behind the line of scrimmage, making a tackle for loss, taking on two guys, and keeping the proper leverage. Maybe I should have just started with this one, Zach. I mean, I didn't know it was going to go down that high in your grade book, but he still wasn't done against Indiana. This one didn't yep. have quite the same impact as early on in the game, but... Pete Warner again sniffing something oh, out and firing firing his gun. Th this is great as well. I mean, how many times last year did we not see these linebackers reading that to react to what we're seeing? Look, he sees high hats, right? He sees the the running back kind of give a half butt fake, right? <laughs> we we can call it half butt fake. We see the offensive lineman starting to come out. He knows something's up. He sees everything unfolding in front of him. Here's another huge indicator that you see that he sees with his eyes. Watch the quarterback. He just starts running all the way back. Quarterback's not going to run all the way back if it's just a normal pass play, right? He's starting to take off. Pete Warner reads and reacts on this very quickly. Makes a three or four yard tackle for loss. I mean, the linebacker play just from being able to read an offense and be able to play. Look at this. I mean, that's a completely different Pete Warner. That's an all Big Ten linebacker play right there. It, I mean, it really is. From what we've, we've been able to see from him so far this year, and especially the last two plays, it's just a completely different Pete Warner and a completely different linebacking core. Yeah, he said last week you could you could feel the confidence, the footwork, uh, the vision, all of that coming around for him. He's getting a lot of playing time, more than, as I said, than might have been expected. He's been key for the Buckeyes, a great start for the Silver Bullets. Zach's going to keep breaking that down for us all year here at Letterman Row. So for Zach Bourne, I'm Austin Ward. We'll see you next week.